What's up guys, 370 Gaming here, and uh, with WW2K17 set to release in just a couple of weeks, uh, I thought I'd try a new kind of video, a new kind of style of format, you know? Uh, if you like the video at the end, maybe uh, perhaps give it a like, maybe a comment, tell me what you think about it. But yeah, today we're going to talk about the new move list that has been uploaded on the WW2K Dev YouTube channel. It shows all the new finishers added to WW2K17. And I thought we could go over some of the more surprising additions to the move list because, you know, there's going to be a lot of new superstars in the game. A lot of new finishers have been added that are pretty obvious, you know what I mean? But I want to cover some of the additions that are kind of, you know, you, you had to think about it a little bit. Maybe it wasn't so obvious why they were in the game in the first place. So, uh, yeah, let's go over this list of moves. Okay, so I'm going to go over these in alphabetical order because that's how they're presented in the video. Uh, not necessarily the order of, you know, uh, shock or surprise or uh, effect on the community, <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're just going to go in here with number one, the avalanche belly to belly suplex. Uh, it's pretty easy to tell why the move is in the game, but I haven't seen her personally use this move uh, super often. Uh, usually when a move is kind of set aside, they may not use it as often, uh, it may not end up in the game. Uh, 2K and THQ before them are usually pretty good at getting moves in the game even when they're not used super often but I was just personally shocked to see uh, the Avalanche Bailey to Belly suplex in the game. Uh, the next move that uh, I was kind of surprised about, surprised is kind of a, a strong word for these first two options but uh, <laughs> I was still, you're taking aback a bit. Uh, Sasha Banks Bankrupt is in the game and ever since coming to Raw she's basically used the bank statement as the you know, that that's basically it. There's no bankrupt uh, usually to set it up. It's usually just the the, the backbreaker into the bank statement submission uh, kind of deal. So seeing the bankrupt in there as its own move, probably a signature, uh, was, you know, something to see. It was pretty cool. Next up, we have two reanimated Brain Busters. I believe it's Brain Buster 3 and Brain Buster 4. I haven't, uh, I'm not looking at the footage right now as I'm talking. But, uh, yeah, I believe it's Brain Buster 3 has this really sick, uh, it's really, it's really quick. It's, it, it's a Brain Buster you would see on the indies or in Japan. It's a really quick, uh, shot that you would, you would believe this man has just been dropped on his head, uh, very, very deadly, you know? Uh, it's really quick, really smooth, very well done. Uh, the fourth, uh, Brain Buster seems to be a WWE kind of safe one. Uh, but that's good because that you know people that will do the brain buster in WWE it's gonna be pretty safe it's not gonna be as quick as smooth as a normal indie brain buster so I'm glad that both uh, are available uh, this one I wanted to cover it's the cross arm bar 2 it's definitely Asuka's cross arm bar but uh, if you you know have watched either of these careers go by Shinsuke Nakamura uses the cross arm bar as well from that standing position uh, I'm one, not so surprised that the move is in the game, however, I do wonder if this will lead to a, another cross armbar with the inclusion of Nakamura as DLC. I don't think he'll take the Asuka version of the cross armbar. Because Nakamura, while it may not be like, you know, a finish most of the time, uh, will do a standing cross armbar where he jumps and, and locks the arm uh, into place. So I do wonder if maybe there will, we'll get a cross armbar 3 in the future. Becky Lynch in the game has two disarm hers, which is just fantastic. The first one seems to be a kind of struggly, chain wrestly type of transition into the disarmer, and then the second one is just a straightforward uh, disarmer submission. And uh, not only is that great news for all Becky Lynch fans because they look fantastic, uh, you can also slap that second one onto a uh, Yuji Nagata CAW because what the hell? <laughs> Why not? It looks fucking great. And uh, yeah, I say C.A.W. because they're wrestlers, man. They're wrestlers. You create a wrestler. All right, mini rant over. The electric chair, face buster, and power bomb, though not surprising on their own, uh, does make me think that uh, for further electric chair variations to be included, um, I'm theorizing that they add the one winged angel of Kenny Omega fame uh, in probably the moves pack because every DLC move pack that, that comes out. Uh, every year has a lot of indie and Japan uh, guys moves so I think Kenny Omega's One Winged Angel could make an appearance this year in the DLC uh, but yeah these electric chair variation 
moves uh, kind of lead me to that theory. So we'll see. We'll see if it comes out. The Gut Wrench Superplex is really fucking cool. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this Gut Wrench Superplex. I know it's for Cesaro, but it could also be easily used for Michael Elgin. And uh, yeah, it, it, it's not super rare and like not really, you know, it's not regular, but it's not irregular. So, uh, you know, but I was still, I just, I loved seeing it. It was pretty cool, so I thought I'd throw that on the list. The Leaping Palm Strike, the Shote Palm Strike uh, of Jushin Liger and, uh, you know, now Cheeseburger. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. That kind of came out of nowhere. I don't remember if there was a Palm Strike move. I'm sure there must have been. There must have been a couple of Palm Strikes at least, but this one seems to be legitimately the Jushin Liger Cheeseburger-esque Palm Strike. So, <laughs> So you guys can feel free to add that onto a CAW. The O'Connor Roll, German Suplex. Uh, I know this is a Chad Gable move. It is from his moveset. But I always associated this move with Douglas Williams from TNA. Doug Williams, whatever, however you refer to him. Uh, I'm a huge, huge fan of this move. It was otherwise known as the Chaos Theory, uh, Chaos Theory Suplex. It is great. I'm very happy to see it in. And um, though I probably should have seen its inclusion with American Alpha, uh, I guess I just didn't think about it, and uh, I, like I said, I just make note of notable sweet-ass moves. Speaking of sweet-ass moves, the Spiral Tap of AJ Styles' indie moveset fame. Uh, I believe he also used it on TNA quite a few times, but the Spiral Tap is a top rope finisher that AJ Styles used to use and has not used any time recently. Uh, yeah, uh, fucking crazy they included the Spiral Tap. That's, that's awesome. I'm really, really stoked to use the spiral tab. <laughs> that's that's just really cool. Uh, this stretch muffler they've reanimated uh, definitely seems to be Brock Lesnar's. If you go through the 2K dev video and you look at Brock Lesnar and Goldberg's moves, you can see that they've reanimated a lot of them to, to be more uh, be more crazy, be more effective, you know what I mean? But this stretch muffler just looked so brutal. He's just picking the guy up. Like the first stretch muffler, you had him you'd pick the leg up, and the guy's head and upper body were still on the ground, but this one, he's picking the guy's whole fucking body up by the leg. Like, that, that's, that just looks brutal. I thought that was noteworthy. And last but certainly not least, I, d I didn't see this one coming at all. You can totally chalk this one up on the surprised, unbelievably, I, I just can't even deal with it. The Superplex Falcon Arrow Combo, uh, used by Seth Rollins. Uh, occasionally used by Bobby Fish, you can give it to Bobby Fish, a CAW in the future, but uh, didn't see this move coming at all. I didn't think they were going to include this in the game ever, really. Like I, <laughs> I don't care how many times Seth Rollins used it. I just didn't think it would happen. I think, you know, a lot of times if it's too, if it's too indie-like, you know what I mean. If it's too much, uh, it's it's like too much being done. You know what I mean. I don't think they're ever going to add it, but they they did, and I'm so happy. This, this combo is fucking great. I'm very, very stoked to see this in the game. And yeah, so those are all the list of the noteworthy moves from WWE 2K17 uh, for the new finishers, of course. We still have a lot of moves that we haven't seen yet that we probably won't see until we actually have our hands on the game. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think of the moves that I listed here today? Should I have listed another move from the video that I didn't get to? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this kind of style of video, please give me a like, give me a comment, tell me what you think about the video, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.